Okay, so this is solving a word problem using a system of linear inequalities. The first thing you want to do is kind of read through the question and see what you have going here. Richard received orders from his doctor to, to begin an exercise program. His exercise must consist of both cardiovascular work and weight training, and his weekly exercise time for the two combined must be at least 10 hours per week. So this is kind of important, so I'm going to underline this. Okay, and then um, the time Richard spends doing weight training must be at least as much as the time he spends doing cardiovascular work. However, he is allowed to spend no more than seven hours. Okay, um, more, no more than seven hours doing weight training. Okay, so this is important. Okay, Richard spends... The time he spends weight training must be at least as much as the time he spends doing cardiovascular. And however, he is allowed to spend no more than seven hours per week doing weight training. Okay, so let X denote the time in hours per week and that Richard spends doing cardiovascular work and let Y denote the time in hours per week that he spends doing weight training. Now, I like to... Um, just call this C and then you can go through and change all your C's to X's later and I would ch um, instead of calling this one um, Y um, this one is going to be weight training so I'm going to call it W okay but um, like I said we'll go through and we can change it to X and Y later this just helps me when I'm setting up the question and let's look at this first the total time for both the two combined must be at least 10 hours per week. So if you take the um, number of hours for cardiovascular and you add the number of hours for weight training, it has to um, must be at least 10 hours per week. So that's going to be um, greater than or equal to 10. We want this combined total to be greater than or equal to 10 because of the at least. Okay, it's got to be 10 or more. And then, um, then we look at the other information here. Okay, the weight training must be at least as much time as, well, let me see, weight training must be at least as much as the time he spends doing cardiovascular work. So weight training has to be at least, so that's going to be greater than or equal to um, the amount of time he spends doing cardio. So look at this again. Is the weight training equal to or bigger than cardio? Yes, that's what we wanted. Okay, And then we have this other one here that he is um, allowed to spend no more than seven hours per week doing weight training. Weight training. So the doctor doesn't want uh, you know, if you're doing 10 hours, you don't want s any more than seven of them to be weight training, so that's going to be less than or equal to seven. Okay, and then, and then there's some um, two obvious, well, ones that you don't want to forget about here. Sometimes they're needed and sometimes they're not, and that is the fact that these variables, the number of hours you spend doing cardio cannot be negative. So C has to be greater than or equal to zero. And the weight training hours cannot be negative either. So it's got to be greater than or equal to zero. OK. So the first thing you do is you come up with your inequalities. And then what you're going to do is you're going to graph them and um, shade the region that shows your solution. Okay, sorry, my little x, y axis isn't all that great. And so you can go through and change all these to um, x's and y's. So c is x, so x plus y is greater than or equal to 10. w was y, so y is greater than or equal to x. And w is less than or equal to 7, that becomes y is less than or equal to 7. And then the c greater than or equal to um, 0 becomes x greater than or equal to 0. And we get y is greater than or equal to 0. 
Okay, so you're going to graph these um, five equations. I'm going to start with this top three and see if I even need to worry about these bottom two. Sometimes you do, so don't forget about them. Okay, so let's, um, it looks like if we go out to 10, we should be okay. Put a few more out there. Here's 10, here's 1. This is X and this is Y. Okay, so the first thing you do is you kind of ignore the inequalities and graph the lines. So we'll say if this was x plus y equals 10, I would graph this one using my x and y intercepts. When x is 0, you replace x here with 0, you get y is 10. x is 0, y is 10, plot that point. If you replace um, y with 0, you solve this, you get x is 10. So when x is 10 and y is 0 is this point right here. And um, then you can, it's going to be a solid line because of the equal to part. Okay. And for this one I'd be shading, this is, there's no negative in front of the y. So I can graph this as a y is greater than, which would be shaded above this line. So we'll come back to that. All right, let's look at the next line. y is greater than or equal to x. You would graph y equals x. So here you could just pick some values. When x is 0, plug in x. You know, make a little xy chart like this. When x is 0, y would be 0. When x is 5, y is 5. Okay? When x is 10, y would be 10. 0, 0. Ten, 10. Okay. And then this is a solid line. Okay, we'll come back to the shading here in a little bit. And then um, our next line, y is less than or equal to 7, we graph y equals 7. Now remember that this means y is always 7, so we could make another xy chart, but make y always 7 and just pick some values for x. So we have 0, 7, the point there. We have 5, 7, and, you know, 7, 7, something like that. Okay, and this is a solid line. Now this is where we're going to see, you know, if... Um, we would also have lines here and here, just along the x-axis and the y-axis. But we're going to see if we even need those in our final solution. If our solution's in here, then, you know, they're redundant. So let's see. So our, re our red line, y is greater than, so our solution is above the red line. So in this, re this region here... <clears throat> And then the next line, y is greater than or equal to x. So we look read this in terms of y. y is greater than. So this would be abo above the purple line. So, so far where we're looking, our solution is in this region or this region. And we go to the next line, and it is y is less than or equal to 7. Less than or equal to 7 is below the orange line. And so your solution is this region right here.